Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is Friday and today it's sunny outside and that's all that matters. <laughs> Hopefully it is super warm, we have a lot going on. Sam is waiting, um, a guy's coming today to uh, give us a quote about putting in our outdoor arena. So we're tackling that today and uh, we're gonna start building a new paddock for storm. Remember the days when we used to have to carry water down to the barn? Oh, thank God those are done. Stella Bella. It is still kind of cold out, but not too bad. It's um, no freezing. Like, so it's windy and cool, but the it's above zero, I think, so it's not too bad. Wall pooping. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to hold his bucket. <coughs> I think it's the whole willow thing. Honestly, he just shies away from anybody with food. Poor guy. The guy giving us a quote said he'd be here at 8.15 a.m. and it's already past that, so my guess is that he's late. Oh yeah, turn on the fence. Imagine I released the beast and the fence wasn't turned on. They wouldn't do anything. Good morning, Sophie. I let you sleep in because yesterday you cried when I only gave you a quarter for trying Vegemite. Because it's so horrible. I know, but you're not a big crier, so. That's the most. Stop. So I thought you needed sleep. I thought you needed yeah. sleep. Are you feeling better? Like Willow's like, let me out. Is Finn done? Uh, Finn is done. Willow is not. Are you done, Finn? He's oh, such a love. Good. Yeah, no, he's... I need to touch him. I need to touch him, too. Do you guys want to touch him? I wish all you guys could touch him. Oh, Just because he's so sweet. Right yeah, except for the poo part. Don't touch the poo part. Ah, uh, he's like, are you letting me out? Look at the wall. That's the poo wall. You know, other, people's de other people decorate their stalls with pictures and with wood. We decorate ours with poo. poo. Who wants more grain? I know, well, Ooh, wouldn't you want more yeah, grain? Hello, handsome. Stella's over there all like, pay attention to me. When you're a kid and it's early morning and the first thing you want to do is climb in the stall with your horse. Go. Oh gosh. Don't run me over, dude. Don't run no. me over. I was not expecting that. Okay, just let her go. Uh oh. Look at her. She's like, oh my god. She's, She's like, like, where's Stella? It's okay. Willow, you know where to go. That's a girl. Because they both want Stella. Everybody loves Stella. Whoa! Wait, Cappy, don't do it yet. There's some bonding going on here. Hold on. Well, Yesterday I said they're never going to bond, and now this happened. See ya! Uh-oh. <laughs> Our princess. They all had a good nap. Look at the shavings. They oh, can't do he's any about to pee, or he just did pee. They can't do anything without Stella. Yeah, nobody in this whole world can do anything without Stella. So today we're going to build a new paddock. 
No, and walk up to him and pet him. Yeah, be nice. If he does not pin his ears oh, at he you. His ears at oh, he pinned his ears at you? <laughs> Been scared. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. She's gonna be mad now. into the habit of talking to our horses like with verbal commands and I want us to do that. Come on, time to get ready. Lots right, to do today to because today we are building a new paddock and if we get it done, all of our horses will be able to go out there today. Stella, Willow, and Finn will be able to use it today. Um, don't block, don't lock your sister out. I know it's a dream to be able to lock your sister in the arena, but it's not nice. Are you okay, Sophie? I'm Let's turn the handle on the other side. That can be done. Oh, all right. So, all right. Let's get to work. And this is why Sophie wants to clean Willow stall all the time. And this is why she does not want to do fins. Fins is easy. Stalls is hard. Let's see. Is and this is why Gabby, who's the best cleaner, gets this stall. <laughs> Verdict. So this was just enough. So Sam's so, gonna put in our. Is, it's more expensive to do over right there than it is over there. Okay. So it's more expensive to do it where I want to do it, but some of you guys have said maybe we should put a garden and stuff there. And I thought maybe if we had grass, we could put chickens in that spot instead. So it's cheaper to do it in a different spot. Yeah. How much is it? We don't know yet. He said he's got the equipment to do all that stuff, but he doesn't really, he's never put it in an arena before. So that is not our guy. We have a couple of different ideas for where we're going to put it. So, back to square one, but we will get this done. Baby, you and I should start living now. With the whole world at our feet. We can stay home. You're getting sick? How do you know? Because. You caught it from your mom. I keep going like that. Yeah. So Sam's sick now. Sophie feels like she's getting sick. I am. I'm almost better. I gave it all away. One thing you guys might not know if you're new to our channel is that Sophie used to get really sick whenever she got sick and Sam usually gets really sick when they get sick. So far, Sam's holding out. I told him, I had this cold before. It doesn't get bad till the third day. So don't even go there until the third day. And he's been holding up. This is your first day. It doesn't get bad till the third day. So lucky you're riding today. You have riding lessons today. Uh, also, you have to start wearing your hair up. Yes, I know. Let's lose ourselves in a fairy tale. Who can say what's wrong or right? We're the only ones who can decide. Baby, you and I, baby, you and I should start living now. With the whole world at our feet. We could stay or we could leave. There is no
Oh, that's cool. That's a good treasure. So we we are cleaning this back paddock. Oh, you have a helper. We're cleaning this back paddock so the horses can come back out here. We're looking for treasure. And the girls are looking for treasure. Gavin needs help. Oh, I'm getting it. It hurts. All right, Gabby, you can do it. It hurts bad. My hand hurts. My hand. Uh, Where does uh, it lead to? Where does it lead to? I'm deep in the middle of the burn pit. Of the burn pit behind me, full of mud. I dump my bucket. Cleaning up a farm is hard work. I've abandoned the children. Let's see how long it takes them to realize that I've left them. I suspect within 10 minutes they'll be up here. Let's see, what time is it? It's 10 a.m. At 10.10, 10, I'll check in with you guys again and see if the girls are up here. If they're not, I'll be so happy because I love them playing out there in the dirt and just like exploring and being together. It's my favorite thing. It is now six minutes after 10. Six minutes after 10. Hi. Hi, you're pretty dirty. I was playing in the mud. That moment that your horse thinks you're late for lunch, but you're not. Stella, it's not even lunchtime yet. But we're gonna do something fun today, you and I, so I'm gonna feed you early, okay? All right? Oh, she's such a lovely, loving, loving girl. I just love her. Right, you guys, let's eat. Since I'm gonna be down at the barn for a few hours, which is my favorite, I'm gonna save some of their hay. I tried to get down here before the girls had just disappeared from the house, but they always notice. They always notice me gone, and they always come to find me, always. So I'm gonna hide and scare the heck out of them. So I'm gonna scare them. I wanted to like come down and just relax. It's so warm outside, like 16 degrees or 14 degrees, which is like the warmest it's been. So I'm gonna try and scare them. Is it just me or does everybody get butterflies in their stomach when you're ready to scare somebody? Hopefully I'll hear them long before they arrive. And the girls is that I went pee before I came down. I can already tell Gabby has to pee. <laughs> Did you go pee before you came down? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they'll pee in the stall. I will not. raining it's pouring rain we're about to do a lesson so yeah we're gonna ride in the rain how do you think I'm gonna do horrible why because you're riding bareback you're only walking so my lessons are gonna be kind of boring for a while because I'm really starting to do things differently I don't want to ride just to ride I want to learn to ride and so today like I I learn I cannot ride in a saddle that doesn't that that's counterproductive my saddle is counterproductive so until I get a new saddle um, I'm gonna practice different things. So today I'm riding bareback. And it's true, I'm riding bareback. So my trainer suggested it, and even if she has to use like a, a lunge line or something like that, um, she probably won't. <laughs> I'll probably be up there by myself. I wanna learn balance. I wanna learn to sit, and I think like sitting on my horse without a counterproductive saddle is probably gonna be better for me and for her than a saddle that just puts us in the wrong position. So pray, pray for me now. Yeah. It's going to happen, and I'm excited. So Sophie is setting up a course for herself. She's going to do poles, and then she's going to weave. But obviously our trainer will help us set it up so that it's a little bit better. I really wish we could open that door and have like a lot of light in here. 
and I think we could if Sam put some like rope across from it but I think opening up the door and not letting the horses get used to it first would cause a whole other set of problems so I'm not gonna do that doesn't it smell like spring though yeah. it smells so good like spring rain so I have discovered oh a cut here and a cut over there both willow height I would say that is not cool poor Finn no wonder you're scared of her I'm so sorry I did not know she was doing that to you oh my goodness you guys remember when we went to the horse expo I said we had beeswax well we have a bunch of it. This one's a huge container. Bring that towel. You have some cuts. Willow attacked your horse. Mm -hmm. Did you see them? Why didn't you tell me? Hi, Hendrix. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I saw like one. Where'd you see it? Over here. See over here on his shoulder. I did see a little tiny one right there on his shoulder. That's Willow. Uh, Willow hype. Willow hype, but come over here and look at this. Oh my god. And right here too. Both sides. Mm -hmm. Exact same height almost. Right there. And right here. Uh-huh. Please don't bite or pick Finn anymore because it You said that out. to her? And then since I was like kneeled down, she kissed me. So I uh -huh. think she said yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's you so have. good. Please don't kick my horse anymore. Yes. Yeah, I mean it, Willow, because that's not nice. So basically, Willow kicked him to a stifle joint. Yeah, he's off. He's off. Go the other way for me. He was really sore when we tried to touch it. Yeah, that's a good one. Sophie had a big talking to her and said, please don't kick my horse. And then they kissed and she thinks that means that she won't anymore. You gotta run faster on the outside. Come on, Finn. He's not running, you are. No wonder he doesn't want to walk with us when she's with us. Oh, he's gonna poop. He's pooping. Okay, try again. He's done. Here you go. Take off her blanket. It's hot. I just put it on last night. So the thing with um, Finn and Willow, clearly it's an issue. Um, we're not gonna let this continue to happen. Unfortunately, we don't have any place to put Finn or separate them right now, but we are working on it. Before this uh, month is finished, we are gonna have uh, two fields and we are gonna have um, a new arrangement. We're probably, I'll let you guys know how it's gonna work out in the end, but Willow and Finn will be separated just because um, I know that it is, um, you know, that they're establishing dominance and stuff, but Finn is not standing up for himself. Well, that's not going to change. And until he does, Willow is just going to keep picking on him. So it's just not a good fit for them. And if we can have two fields, then I'm going to utilize that and keep them separated. And hopefully the pairs that we have decided on are going to be a good fit with one another. And that's called managing your herd, right? I'm learning to manage my herd, but I talked about it with my trainer and we figured out what we think is going to be the best situation for everybody. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.